Hello guys, welcome back to the fifth lesson in this playlist, Piano Chords. I'm teaching you major sevenths, minor sevenths, and dominant sevenths, only seventh chords. In the previous lesson, it was about major chords and minor chords. We said that the major chord is made up of three, two semitones. Three semitones first, and then two semitones. And the minor was two semitones, three, two, three, and the major was three, two. We are going first to look at the major seventh chord. The major seventh chord contains three, four notes, actually, uh, because it comes first from a triad of three notes. That's the root, the, the third, the fifth. Now we are adding the seventh note to make it a major seventh. A major seventh which is in the form of three, two, then we add another three. That's like this. This is a major seventh chord. It's a C major seventh chord. A C major seventh chord. It's actually like that. Um, because it has the C, the first note, and then we count three symptoms. One, two, three. We press this. One, two, to make it a... Uh, that's a major, a major C, C major. Then we add three more symptoms to make it a C major seventh chord. That's how it's made. We can also make a, an A major seventh chord. This is A. We count one, two, three. We press this. We count one, two. We press this, and then we count one, two, three, and we press this. That's a, an A major seventh chord. That's how we make major seventh chord. We can also look at one more example. That's uh, we can use an example of um, E, E, E major seventh here. One, two, three. We press this. One, two. Press this, and then one, two, three, and we press this one. This one at the end here. So that's how we make major seventh chords. Uh, we can also look at a um, minor seventh chord. Uh, we have seen that the major seventh chord is made up of three semitones, two semitones, three semitones in that order. Three, two, three. That's a major seventh chord. We can see or we can look at the minor seventh. The minor seventh is made up of two, three, two. Just like a, mi a minor chord is made. A minor chord is made of two, three semitones. But now a minor seventh is in two, three, and again two at the end. Uh, we can begin with a C minor. C here. Yeah? One, two. Press this. One, one, two, three. We press this. And then one, two, three. Three, no, one, two, yeah. So one, two, and then we press this in the form of two, three, two. And a C minor seventh. This is one, two, we press this. One, two, three, we press this. And then one, two, we press this. You see, that's how a minor seven is made. We can also look at uh, a B, a B minor seven. B minor seven is like this. One, two, we press this. One, two, three, we press this. And then we count one, two, we press this. That's a, a, G, a, a B, a B minor, a B minor seventh b minor seventh yeah that's how it's made we can also now i think it, we, we are we are now fine with the minor chords the minor the minor seventh is made up of two semitones three semitones and two semitones now we can look at the dominant seventh chord uh, a dominant seventh chord is actually just like a major a major chord it's like a major seventh chord but there's only one thing that we do we flatten the seventh note the seventh note is reduced by a semitone. That's, uh, for example, if you are using the C, a C major chord. A C major chord is here, C. One, two, three, we press this. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we press this. This is a C major chord. Then the seventh note now, when we want to make it a C major seventh, we were adding three more. One, two, three, and we come here. That is an, a C major seventh chord. But now, instead of pressing this seventh note here, we flatten it and we press this one. You see? So it is made in the form of three, two, two semitones. Three semitones, two semitones, and another two semitones. That's how a major, uh, um, a dominant seventh is made. Dominant seventh is made like a major seventh. The only difference is just that the last note or the seventh note is reduced by a semitone. That's be, being flattened. You see, that's how. We can also look at a, a D, a D dominant seventh. Dominant seven is here in, in D. This is D. We count one, two, three. We press this. One, two, press this, and then one, two, three, and we press this. That's how a D dominant seventh chord is made. A dominant seventh chord in D. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm I'm glad that you are here. Um, you can remember there is a previous lesson that we were learning about chords, how major chords are made and how minor chords are made. It's a, a good reference for you so that you can understand this lesson more, 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 more efficiently. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that when we upload new videos, you can just get them at one click. Thank you very much. Welcome again.